Hi. Now, we were, we're talking about productivity tools that you can have on an iPhone that would make mobile working so much easier. With that in mind, one of the ones that I would suggest that no mobile worker should be without is Adobe Acrobat. Now, it has so many features that any mobile work, worker would be amiss to not have that on their phone, especially their iPhone. So we're going to install it today and then we're going to have a look at it. So we're going back into the App Store. Open, open, open. And we're looking for Adobe Acrobat. So go to the search feature. We're looking for Adobe and um, Acrobat. Um, um, select it, search for it. And select it. Obviously, as you can see from the cloud, I've installed it before, but what you'd normally see there is get. I'll um, click the get and download it. Now, I have um, Adobe Acrobat on the phone is so much more powerful than Adobe Acrobat Reader on the PC because there are certain features that they allow on the mobile, especially the iPhone, that you, won't, you wouldn't find on the PC. I can't tell you the number of times it saved me. You can do digital signatures. You can convert web pages to PDFs. You can um, send PDFs directly. So let's give it an open. Open. There it is. It's loading up. Um, you can sign in with Facebook, sign in with Google. I don't exactly sign in online. I use mine locally. But it's up to you how you use yours. It's got, it's looking at the locations, recent, local, if you have a document cloud or a Dropbox, you can add that. Me personally, I tend to keep mine on the down low, which is usually on my iPhone mainly. It's just the way I am. And then here, it's got all the files that should be there. So if you click local, you can go to recent, if there are any recent ones, or you can check other locations, like for instance... Um, see, these are recent ones I've done. There you go. Um, and then you can see all. So if I scroll down, these are PDFs I've done. Um, and I've uh, done them through, through using Adobe PDF. They're all coming back down. We'll come down. How to analyze stocks for profits. You know me. Always on, always on the move. Anyway, that's it. Okay. And if you read the bottom, it says new. Adobe Scan App. Turn your iPhone into a powerful scanning tool with three text recognition superpowers. Now imagine that. Um, earlier on, you would have remembered that I showed you how to scan using the natural note app in an iPhone. But now when you uh, download Adobe Acrobat Reader, you now get a scan thing. Wow, even better. Um, but I love this tool. It allows you to sign documents. It allows you to do so much on on the move, especially in this digital ec um, economy that we're in, it is, it is something everybody should have. Uh, I don't know if I can show you how I sign a document. Let's see. Getting started PDF. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to sign this document. See here at the bottom where it's got these little icons. That one is, is continuous reading. That one is what? That one brings up, you know, how to scroll with two fingers while you're connecting and all that kind of stuff. Now, here at the bottom, you see the last icon, which is, looks like a pen tip. If you click that, it, create, it uh, pops up, create a signature. So you can create a signature. So click on create a signature. It pops up this way. I now turn my phone around, and it's a sign. And you use your finger to sign. Now, you could use your finger or something with a pointy tip. Luckily for you, I've got a stylus like... Hold on one second. I've got a stylus like um, wooden thing. So you just sign. So you just make sure it's your signature though. Okay, let me use my finger. All right. Let's say that's my signature. Done. Then you click done. And it stores it. And see, if I want to sign there, I can even click on it. And I can move it. I can make it smaller. I can put it in place. I find this so, so cool. And done. Document signed or approved or whatever you want to do. You can highlight things with this one. 
highlight with one finger, scroll with the other. So if I want to highlight stuff in the document, my initials are YJ. Oops, and you can mark up text as you go. You can cross through text. I mean, it's so cool. Done. Now I've kind of marked that up. There are other things. You can share it. Share by file, share to link, save to document cloud, open in. You could, and if you have a Wi Fi printer, oh, yes, I did this the other day and it so tricked me. I was running everywhere to find a printer to print a document that I needed to give to someone urgent, urgent. And I used this feature on a wireless Wi Fi wireless printer. It went so smoothly. I didn't have to in install any drivers. It is so cool. You really have to have this on your on your phone not to mention there's a feature there's another app I'll show you whereby if you are a busy on the move person you can read your documents have your documents read back to you so do try and explore this app um, it is very cool you can create you can export you can create PDF you can fill and sign you can scan I mean all those in one little app and it's free I think you definitely would be a miss not to look at this app so that's all for now. I hope you try. Any comments, get back to me and join us on the next one. Thank you. Bye, Jay. Bye. Do, 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 do.